All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. One for the money, two for the show, three for each and every one of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Listen to me, man. So you want to be a center? You trying to figure out how to be? You want to be like those other guys, man. You want to be like... Like the Jay Easy's and the Iggy Moe's of the world, man. I'm not putting myself up there with these guys. But look, man. Hey, look. I, 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 I had to come to terms with it, man. Let's say you one of these guys like me. Every year. I, I need to make a sinner's oath, man. Or the sinner's creed that, you know, even though I feel like I'm better than the off guard that sits in the corner and plays no fucking D on our main team that we play with. Even though I feel like I'm better than him, but I know I can't. I'm not as good as our point guard. I choose to play center because it's the only way that you're going to get runs because everybody in this damn game made guards this year, even though, with, with no regard to their ability to play it or not. Like, you know, we need we need a center screen, man. Y'all work on that down in the chat that we can do. But look, man, I'm going to teach y'all how to play center. That's what, that's what I'm going to do this all this week, man. I'm putting out center videos, man, because, look, it's something I had to realize. I've been a center the last five 2Ks, 2K 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I played the big man. I played the three spot. That's, that's that's what I had to play because I'm one of those people I'm going to do whatever it takes in order for my team to win. And a lot of people just make guards and people make guards every year and I make guards every year and I never get to play them. So I'm just done with that, man. I'm just going to be the best outside center I can be. And that's, that's what I got to show y'all. The first thing that you want to do, man, if you want to be an outside center, you need this pie chart. Look, you're going to have some other pie charts, but I'm going to show you why you want this. Okay, this one right here, 68, 63 speed. You don't want this one because it's got 68 strength. This one right here, 55 speed, a lot of strength. You got more vertical. Vertical don't mean nothing as a center. Don't let nobody fool you. You can get up to the top of that square and swat shots and do all that stuff. That vertical don't mean nothing, I promise you. You're not going to duck on more people. You're not going to do none of that stuff, man. I promise you this. This is the part that you want where you begin with 91, I mean, uh, 61 strength, uh, 61 speed and um, and 90 strength. That's the part that you want, man. All right, look, the other one, 61. Obviously, you don't want this. You don't have enough strength. You definitely don't want this because you're not going to be fast enough and you're not going to be strong enough. This is a terrible pie chart, bro. So look, for centers, this is the one that you want. Six, the one that says 61 speed and 90 strength. 42 verticals, fine. 54 accelerations, fine, bro. This is the, this is the fastest you can get. You can get faster with 63, but bro, that's that you're taking too big of a hit on the strength. Don't do it. This is what you want. You want 61 speed, 90 strength. This is as strong and as fast as you can be. All right, bam. Let me see if I can back up right here. Y'all already see what my center name, Leroy Greens. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? That's 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 who I am. This is the pie chart that you're going to take. You're going to take the one that says defense and three-point shooting this is what you want look at your maximums on this you can get a 90 plus you know what i'm saying 90 plus rebounding when you when it's all said said and done if you make them right all this stuff man look all right the rest of them you're not gonna your three bro don't 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 be don't don't take this don't take this pie chart and think you're gonna be shooting threes you know what i'm talking about don't don't take this pie chart I think that you're gonna be shooting threes. All these other ones, man. All these other ones you see dunking and stuff. You're not gonna be good enough defensively. 75 is not. That's 70. You got guards with 80 plus rebounding, bro. You're not gonna be able to rock with them. Green and red. It's obvious, right? You would think so, but it ain't obvious to a lot of people, man. Just rock with this. This is what you're going to take. It don't look good from the jump, but when I get finished with them, it's gonna look good. Now we're gonna back up out of here. We're gonna back up out of here because I want I want to reset the thing. Uh, I don't want to reset all the points and all this stuff, man. Look, once you do that, all right, this is where you are. You can do some things. I've seen this done, but I feel like I was the innovator of this because I was the first one to put this build out there where I had perimeter defense in my build. You can go back and look at it. Go back and check it. Find me a video that, that where a center put perimeter defense in their build before I did and uh, you know how I pay for it, man. But look, this is where you want to be, man. This is this is what you want. You want rebounding, 85. Offensive rebounding, you got that maxed out at 80. Block, you got it maxed out at 87. 
Still 49. That's fine. I promise you it's fine. Lateral quickness, you got that at 50. If I'm not mistaken, lateral quickness only goes to 54. It's going to be 55 anyway once you get it maxed out, right? Still, that's got me at 55, but I wouldn't worry about that. Now, what you can do is uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you about I did look at Iggy Moe's bill. What he did was this. I wanted four finishing badges, and I think you can actually do this and still get so I think he got three finishing badges. So he did this. He didn't put his driving layup up. He put it down some, and he maxed out his stealing. Me, I felt like I felt like that was a waste, plus I wanted the four badges, right? I feel like as a center, you don't need a high steal because if you're standing in the passing lane, and y'all ain't going to believe it, but I promise you it's true. If you're standing in the passing lane, bro, and you hold the button, don't just tap it, but stand in the passing lane, hold left trigger, square up, and when you know the pass is coming, you hold X or hold square, you're going to get the steal every time, dog. You're going to get the steal. And as a center, I feel like you should be playing much more position defense anyway. So if you got a high steal, that feels like a warrant to just spam the steal button, right? And a lot of times you end up out of position and you get cussed out by your point guard and stuff for reaching and all that. You, just, you don't need those problems, man. So look, this is why I went with what I went with. 80 shot close. So I'm not going to miss no shots in the paint if I mistake if I take one of those by mistake. And right, we got uh, driving layup, 60. The driving dunk, 62. That's high. I put those up that high because I wanted to get the pro alley-oops. I wanted to be able to catch alley-oops off the bat. So I'm able to do that. Standing dunk, 81, even though he rarely does it. It is what it is. Standing dunk, 81. Then you got mid-range, 74. Maxing out these. Leave your free throw at 76. This is 80. Don't touch playmaking. You don't need playmaking. I'm going to tell you all that in a minute, man. You don't need playmaking as, as a big. You don't need none of that. Pass accuracy don't mean crap in this game. I promise you, bro. I don't make enough passes. I don't get passes stolen off. His interior defense, max that out. Max out perimeter defense. So you can... So if you don't max out your perimeter defense, this is why guards is going to just spray, just shoot in your face all day. You're going to get... a with, you, with your perimeter defense maxed out, you're going to get a lot of times where where people are gonna, the guard gonna try to pull in your face and you gonna do this and he gonna miss and he gonna be like, damn, why did I miss that? This is a center. That's why he missed because you got your defense maxed out. Lateral quickness, put that up. Still, there you go. Okay, now look at all of this, right? This is where you at. Y'all y'all can read, man. This is where you want all your stuff to be. Go over here, body type, whatever, man. You got a lot of myths about all this stuff. Every player that I got is defined I don't get people throwing me out of the way. I don't get boxed out. None of that stuff. Height, 6'11". Some people go 6'10". You can go 6'10". I prefer 6'11". It is what it is. 6'10", you get a lot more stuff. Get a lot more things on your build and all that stuff, man. But look, I I mean, you're, you're faster. But I just decided to go 6'11". I'm already in. You mean, you get... You get your, your speed will top out at like 70... What's that? Plus 9, 78 almost 80 if you go 611 but you know i didn't do that i i did it just like this i love 611 interior defense went down a little bit but don't worry about that we're gonna fix that in a second i promise you go 611 that's what i did but you can go 610 i would not go shorter than 16 i would not go taller than 611 i feel like you take too big of a hit boom wait wait look at this max the weight out look at that interior defense do you see that do you see that you see what's not happening over here? Max the weight out. Max him out on weight. 285. Why? Even or or you can go, you know, a little bit lighter, but I just went here. 282 285. Why? I still got 66 speed. My speed didn't change at all. And I'm not getting any more speed by making it minimum weight, right? The only thing I'm doing is losing strength. Max the weight out. You want maximum strength. You're going to need it to bang with people down in the post. You don't want people to just put you in the rim. This is what you're going to do. You lose a little acceleration. That acceleration ain't even that important anyway. But what did you gain? You gained. Now you're at, look, now you're at 90 interior defense. That's what you're really gaining from this. You lose a little lateral quickness, but it is what it is. That 90 interior defense is going to help you out a lot, man. Because if you're building with minimum weight, what is your interior defense going to be, bro? 75. You want to you play with 75 interior defense? Be my guest. Go right ahead. You're going to get killed. 
Some people probably gonna think I'm gonna get killed anyway, but I'm gonna show you why I'm not gonna get killed when we get to the badges portion of this. Wingspan, don't max it out. If you max it out, you're gonna start with less than a, less than a 73 ball. And I don't feel like it helps anything because when you get your guy maxed out, you're gonna have a 95 block anyway. One less than max. That's what I did. One less than max. I compromised, I said 70. You know, because I wanted my block to be 90. So my block is 90, my steel is 54. I'm okay with that every day of the week, bro. Uh, Mid-range went down to 74. Three-pointer went down to 70. But you're gonna get that back when you start getting them up to, to like 97, 98. Rim protector takeover. You can go with glass. Some people go with glass. I go with rim protector. I box out very well, so I, I never did that. This is what you're gonna end up with. Glass cleaning lock, man. This is the best bill as far as what I feel like, man. That's what I feel like is the best bill and the best way to do it, man. Let me show y'all some stuff, man. Now we gonna go to badges. Remember that I said this because I said it. This bill will shoot 50 until you get to 96 or 97. Your shots, you're gonna shoot 50% at best. The best shooters in the game, some of the ones I done seen, Paul, uh, Paul will prevail. I done seen, you saw, you saw, um, you saw what happened with, with Z. You saw what happened with Chico Filo, why they was missing. This game will not allow you to be consistent from three until you hit like 96 or 97. I started getting consistent at 96. When I hit 97, I started being like, I don't miss. That's when people was like, damn, he don't miss. You can't be consistent until you're 96 or 97. So if you made this build in the past and you gave up on it because people said you couldn't shoot because they had a build that was a fucking guard and guards in this game have a license to do anything. Guards hit whites. Guards hit contested shots. Guards shoot, man. they don't let our centers do none of that stuff. Guards can shoot at 80 and shoot, and look, until you get to 96 or 97 as a center, they're not going to allow you to be consistent from three. Now, these are my, uh, this is what I'm looking like now, man, with my 99s and all that. When I get to 90.9.9, I'm at, I'm at 75 speed. Acceleration pretty decent. Strength is 99. Gotta have that. Vertical 52. I'm cool with that. Stamina 99. Look, man. Don't let nobody fool you about not getting your steroids. Either you gotta get those. You ain't gonna be able to shoot if you don't. But the, the biggest thing that I'm telling you is this is what my stats look like right now. They will not allow you to be consistent. If you made one of these and you wasn't consistent shooting and you gave it up, go play my career. I'm gonna put out a video on this bill tomorrow on how to max them out super quick. Um, let me show y'all how many games I played, man. Look, uh, play next game. What's our record? Our record is Lakers, 31 and one. So 32 games, he maxed out. And he was maxed out before then. I think I maxed him out in like 26 to 27 games if you use the method, man. But look, this is it, man. 84 shot close, driving dunk, driving layup, 67, 69. He said 69. Anyway. Uh, standing dunk, 84. Post hook, negligible. Didn't even didn't even do nothing with it. 78 mid range, 74. Um, three point shot, free throw, 82. Man, they don't care about that. Post fade, 85. You could probably take some off that post fade, man, and put some of your other stats up. I put my post fade up because I needed it for the badges, and that's what I'm gonna show y'all here. Um, again. Pass accuracy, didn't do none of that. I don't even average eight turnover a game. I'm gonna show you all this stuff. Interior defense is now 94. It, it, it maxes out at 95. Perimeter, 70. Uh, lateral quickness, 58. I ain't even really worried about that. Steel is good. Block, 94, 95 at max. Um, am I at a 99.9? I don't think I'm at a 99.9. But anyway, offensive rebound, 84. Offensive, yeah, 99. I don't think I'm at a 99.9. These are the badges, the secret sauce, man. Look, this is what I got right now. This is what I normally use. I, I was trolling with this bag down Punisher. 
Normally, this is what I use, man. Slithery and Giant Slayer. You use Slithery because you can't really get to the rim, but Slithery makes centers do stupid stuff, like they take a false step or they, they do all this other stuff. Everything except block the shot, bro. So that's why I do what I do. Badge is on shooting. This is what I use. You might use something else, but this is what works for me. What works for me is this. Catch and shoot, Hall of Fame. Guards don't need it. Guards probably don't even have to put it on, but they can put it on, on silver or something. I can't do that. I'm a center. This is what I feel makes me the most consistent. Uh, corner specialist, hot zone hunter. Uh, dead eye, you could probably do something like this, man. Put corner there and put in hot zone once you get there. But you put on corner specialist first so you can get the hot zone. Corner specialist will give you hot zone from the baseline up to the wing, all the way up to the wing, so you can shoot anywhere in there. And then once the corner specialist kicks in, you know how it's on. Quick draw on goal, range extender, dead eye. That's all I need. 90% of the people you're gonna be going against the centers, they ain't got no perimeter defense, they're not gonna be able to stop you anyway. That's all. That's why you only need that dead eye. Bail out. That's the only badge you need. Why people say I don't need bail out because I don't take bad shots. I don't need, I need bail out because I don't take bad shots, if you understand what I'm saying. It's a bad shot. Sometimes you can't determine whether it's a good or a bad shot until you raise up. If I raise up and it's gonna be a bad shot, I can't shoot that, I can pass it to my point guard 99 times out of 100, he's gonna catch it and I ain't got no problems. And then here we go, the coupe de grass, man. This is where I'm at right now. I, I was doing this the other day. This is what I was using. But I found out that it really wasn't a need to do it, man. Because post-move lockdown, you need moving trucks so people can't just back you down. Because if they got back down punish on Hall of Fame, it don't matter what you do. If you don't have on moving truck, you won't stop them. It, it used to be moving truck and 99 strength and moving truck on bronze would stop back down punish on Hall of Fame. They, I mean, yeah, they must have saw my video, so now you got to use moving truck on silver to stop back down punish on Hall of Fame for those people that aimlessly like to back you down. Will you stop everybody? No. There's no bill that's going to do that. But this bill, doing this, look, box on Hall of Fame. Some people out there got 99 rebounding, bro. You're not boxing. If you don't put box on Hall of Fame, you ain't going to consistently box them out. Sometimes the game don't even allow you to step in their way to box them out and you're just gonna get boarded on. That's why I use Box on Hall of Fame. If this is what works for me. I'm not saying it's gonna work for you. Also, when you when you, when you you rebound left stick, use the right analog to put some ass on them. We got videos coming later on this week. Uh, rebound chase on goal. I was able to get away with that because I had to make some affordances. So it is what it is. Uh, rim protector, Hall of Fame. I took rim protector off gold and put it on Hall of Fame. I noticed people miss a lot more. In the beginning, it might've been the same thing. If you put it on silver, or or um or, or hall of fame it really didn't matter yeah it, it matters now intimidate on hall of fame chase down artists I always got that on bronze man you get i just need to unlock the animations i get enough chase downs no capleton clamps on silver i need clamps on silver man you put clamps on silver and you can you can you can stick with point guards for three steps but if somebody that ain't got no business dribbling the ball trying to drive on you, you just gonna cut them off and they are gonna just be straight stops. So clamps on silver. Pogo stick on silver because Hall of Fame is the best, but I don't have that many badges, so I'm able to make it work with just silver. Man, I wish I could go to Legend and get all them other badges, bro. This build will be busted. And then like I said, moving truck here. That's all I got for y'all, man. Like this is how you wanna try to set your guy up. And if you do that, you know, you can look for, you, you can you can end up being like this, man. Look, 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 man. I ain't saying I'm the best, but y'all know we play pull-ups all day, and I ain't no slouch. This is where I am right here, man. 92 win percentage, 62.4% from three, and that's after shooting an abysmal percentage, you know, when I first got him. But once I got him to 97, I really, I really don't miss, bro. I like, I, I really, really, really don't miss. This is in the park, in the rake. Look, 62, 62 in the wreck and, and 88 win percentage. So, like, this dude ain't no slouch, man. Like, I, and I, I wish they had points, points for and points against, but they, they really don't. But, look, man, that's what you want to do, man. This is your start. If you want to make a center now, if you're tired of people not letting you run center, you can't never run with your own boys and stuff, damn, I'm, I need, I'm, look, fuck it, I'm just going to make a center. This is the bill right here, bro. Fuck it, I'm just going to make a center. This is the bill that you need. 
make sure you put the perimeter. Look, if you skip on anything or you do anything else, man, bro, make sure you leave the perimeter defense up, though. Because if you don't put the perimeter defense up, guards gonna shoot in your face. And you're gonna be pissed. 60 is good enough, bro. I promise you. You're gonna stop a lot of dumb shit on the perimeter with that, and your guards will thank you. You'll be able to switch on the guards with confidence, all that stuff. You're not just gonna get abused by them. And you'll be fast enough to get over and help and do all that stuff, man. But like I said, man, I gotta get up out of here. Hope y'all guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you got any questions down in the comments about being a center. And uh, if you got any other questions, you know, just, just put it down in the comments. I'll do stuff. Hey, if you order the shirt, all of the, I, I had to order the stuff, all of the, I told y'all it was a method. I told you there was a method to spin in the wheel. If you want the method, let me know, man. I got you, partners. I got you. Let me, let me record that, man. Let me go record my last two minutes, man. There's a method to spin in the wheel. People think it ain't. There's a method to spin in the wheel, man. You get good stuff every time. But if you got any questions down in the comments, let me know. If you ordered a shirt, my man that ordered the gold-blooded, your hoodie came in today. I'm pressing it right now. And we're going to get it out first thing in the morning, man. So I know you asked me about that on Instagram. I don't know if I replied, but it came in today. I got to order stuff. I used to be able to go right in the store and buy the stuff. But I can't do that anymore. I have to order it, and then I'm at their mercy when it's going to get here. I'm, I apologize for that. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get uh, my wife to to refund your shipping or something like that since since you did priority and, and it you know uh, we didn't get that. But if you hit hit up my store Breeze Tees, just give me about a week on most things, man. If it's like regular stuff, if it's a hoodie or something, it's probably gonna take like a a, a little over a week. Um, just because they're out of season and I got to order them. So it is what it is. Appreciate y'all coming through showing some love, man. If you got any questions about being a better center, let me know. Tomorrow, we discuss how to play the pick and roll properly if you're a center. Because I'm trying to help all my centers out there, man. A lot of people playing center and they really don't want to play center. And like people have told you it's easy to play center. But when you're out there and people expect you to get every block, every board, every, every, um, Cut off, cut off the, cut off the driving dude when the, the guard got by you, but I'm supposed to cut him off perfectly, get the block, and then get the board, and box my man out, and you're like, bro, it's a lot to it, man, like, it's, it's easy to play, but it's hard to play the right way, and especially if you want to have a high shooting percentage and all that stuff, stay tuned, videos all week, and then we're just going to go from there, man. I'm one of the best stretches in the game, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I think I am anyway. I'm, I'm pretty trash. I'm pretty damn trash. But you know, Tiger King out, man. I'm out of the y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Godspeed!